What is going on guys? Have you recently tried to install Windows 10 on an Asus motherboard with Wi-Fi built in and encountered this error message during install? Well, I recently did and I found a potential fix that I would like to share with you coming up after this. What is up guys? My name is Nelson. On this channel, I do photography and tech-based tips, tricks, and tutorials. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Well, I recently built a system around an AMD Ryzen 9 3900X using the ASUS Tough Gaming X570 Plus. And when I went to install Windows and Windows got to the place where it needed to reboot for the first time, I was presented with this error message. Now, after a bunch of trial and error and a little bit of research online, I have found that my particular issue was with the built-in Wi-Fi. Windows goes to find a driver for it during install and crashes. Once you click OK to restart the computer, as this dialog box tells you to do, it just gets stuck in a boot loop and this error message continues on. So I went in and disabled it in my BIOS, reinstalled Windows, and fixed my issue. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Guys, I just want to preface this by saying this error message can come up for other reasons also. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot my system and boot into the BIOS. Now in this particular motherboard, you hit delete to enter the BIOS. Go ahead and hit delete once you hear the computer beep. I like to hit it a number of times until it enters the BIOS. All right, now this is the configuration of my BIOS, and I am running an ASUS Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi running BIOS version 1405, which at the time of this video was the current BIOS version for this particular motherboard. Now your layout may be different depending on what BIOS version you have or which motherboard you are using, but the idea should still be the same. So this is the easy mode. So what you're going to want to do is click down here on advanced mode and come up here and click advanced and click on onboard devices configuration and you're going to scroll down to the bottom until you see Wi-Fi controller which should be enabled by default. I have mine disabled. So go ahead and click on disabled and now what you're going to do is you're going to click on exit up here and you're going to hit save changes and reset. Go ahead and reinstall Windows and see if this fixes your issue. I hope you guys found this content useful. If you did, please do not hesitate to give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Also, feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know how you like this video and if this fixed your issue or if you encountered other problems. All right, guys, have a great night.